Okay, so this is a little embarrassing. Hey, this is Angie. And I'm Ryan. And we are Happy, Happy Healthy, Healthy Vegan. Vegan. A couple months ago, I was sent a giant box of vegan condoms from Glide to yeah to uh, test out and review. So we're gonna talk about condoms today. About four years ago, four or five years ago, when we were getting really serious about our veganism, I was looking into whether or not condoms were vegan. And I found a website that's not around anymore called The Sensual Vegan, and they offered Glide Ultra condoms. So I started buying them then, and then I bought them later on Amazon. And um, so when they reached out to me to talk about them, I was like, heck yeah, I wanna talk about Glide condoms. I love these things. We use them on the reg. And the reason you started searching for vegan condoms is because most people don't realize, we didn't at the time too, that pretty much all condoms out there are not vegan. They yeah. contain non-vegan animal additives mm. and they're tested on animals too. Exactly. None of the stuff, none of this is done with these Glide condoms. No. Furthermore, they have none of the um, petrochemical, you know, gasoline oil byproduct stuff yep. on them too. There's no spermicides or anything like that. It's just pure uh, latex rubber with some thistle extract added instead of animal so byproducts. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I mean, they're just great condoms overall. They're really, I mean, they don't have a weird smell. They don't have mm -hmm. a weird taste. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I had tried before, before I realized that condoms weren't vegan, like some premium uh, condom mm -hmm. varieties and you know I wasn't really that um, that excited about them but I'm really into these because not only are they great condoms but they support my vegan lifestyle so it's a win-win I thought it was also it's um, fair trade that's too. It. yeah yeah and they pay their um, their workers a higher than living wage and they source their rubber from they say an indigenous rubber tree there so and they manufacture wow. it right near the area where it's harvested too so they're cool on all counts as far they as really I can are. tell but speak you know aside from all that cool stuff I have to say I'm not lying at all guys these are you know the best as she says they don't smell like petroleum and have a weird funky smell like that yeah. but the feel is is top notch they don't feel like you have a you know a giant sock on or anything like that <laughs> there's some <laughs> sensitivity still and all of them claim that on the box yeah. but this one really I lives know. up yeah so we've just been using kind of their signature uh, ultra but i didn't realize until now that they come in different sizes too so there's a slim fit and there's also a maxi so they've really got you covered so not only that, I had no idea that they'd branched into a flavored condoms. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is a lot of stuff to review here. <laughs> They've got licorice, vanilla, which actually sounds pretty good, blueberry, wildberry, and strawberry. So I decided to use strawberry for our review test. <laughs> um, we hadn't really had a lot of experience with flavored condoms. Um, so we put one to the test tonight, and <laughs> I've got to say, it was very pleasant. Um, probably a little more pleasant for you, <laughs> but... And I wanted to mention that these, um, the flavorings are organic, natural fruit extracts with no sugar added. It's not that weird, fake flavor that you would get Artificial. in your standard. Yeah, Yeah, it's exactly. real fruit flavors real, here. Real, you know, that's important for us vegetarians, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so yeah, the flavor was nice. It um it didn't remind me of fresh strawberries as much as it did. Some kind of a, like a delicious strawberry candy or like a strawberry bubble gum, but without all the extra sugar. Um, and there was a lot of flavor right at first, and then it kind of mellowed out. But what was so nice is that as the strawberry flavor mellowed out, it wasn't like overtaken by that horrible standard condom flavor. They wash the uh, material several times and that helps to mellow out the flavor. So between their special uh, clean condom flavor technology and and the flavored strawberries I had to say it was a very pleasant experience for me <laughs> uh, I think it was a pretty pleasant experience for him as well and uh, yeah everything about it is a very smooth ride shall we say <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know there's like so many reasons to use condoms and I kind of wanted to use this as an opportunity to mm -hmm. kind of address that as well as to just talk about what a great company these guys are. Yeah, reasons why. A lot of people think, oh, I don't need to use them, you know, I've, I've got the vasectomy or, yeah, or whatever. But, you know, there's some pretty scary stats going on right now. 
Yeah, I mean that's specifically like so many vegans are talking about that they're getting vasectomies and it's like, well that's great as far as pregnancy, but that but. still doesn't protect you against the fact that STDs and HIV are back on the rise again. Yeah, I've been so, reading some really sobering yeah, statistics. From 20, I think, 13 to 14, mm -hmm. syphilis has nearly doubled. Yes, it was up 79%. It's like, uh, I mean, syphilis, it seems so like... 70s or something. Well, I, I mean, it even seems like 1500s when people are like <laughs> yeah. dying of syphilis in Europe or whatever. It's like, it's a really serious issue. Also, what AIDS were the other ones? And a gonorrhea up for about 33% from the year before. That's so, really distressing, And, and it said the, the most at-risk group were people in youth. their 20s. Youth. And I know there's a lot of young people watching this show and I just hate the idea that you guys think like just because you're fruitarian or vegan and, yeah, or yeah, I like whatever we can just hook up at fruit festivals and nothing bad will happen. No, that's naive. Yeah, so I mean, I really think you know, ladies, you should be protecting yourselves, boys, with other boys. You know, like everyone should be handling their business. So comment down below. Did you know that the condoms that you'd been using all this time probably were not vegan? Yeah, or have you heard of some other vegan brands that you'd like to share? This is the first one that I've tried, but there may be a few other brands out there. Speaking of sharing, share this video with your friends. Let them know to, to protect themselves and get a good vegan fair trade condom. Yeah, so uh, like the video if you're into it. Um, and subscribe above for more vegan reviews, information, and more from me and Ryan here at Happy Healthy Vegan. Until next, next time. time. Uh, <laughs> keep it carved, baby. <laughs> keep it ethical. <laughs> <laughs>